Hey everybody, it's Ken Haskins and I'm back with another tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to easily create dynamic meta tags. We're going to use Dreamweaver CS6 to do this so let's go ahead and get started. Let's say you're building a website that's going to produce dynamic web pages such as a products page or a blog page like the one you see here. Let's click on the link and here this page here is dynamically showing all of the information that I have here in my database and on the surface you know everything looks just fine until I hover over the tab here at the top and what's happening here is it's only showing the same information that's right here in this address bar that's not supposed to happen when this page loads up I want this page title to also be here in the tab as well and that's not only beneficial for the visitor but it's also beneficial for the search engines as well so they they know or that it knows what your page is all about not to mention that when or if I wanted this page to be shared on social media when I click on a share button when it loads up all of this ugly information is being shown and as you can see this information here is coming from the address bar and it's cut off that doesn't look too good and this information here is the same as the content of the blog itself that's not supposed to happen what I want to have happen is a beautiful image of Beyonce show up right here along with a page title and a description letting the person know what the web page is all about so when this web page gets shared on social media when the person sees that link hopefully they will feel compelled to click on that link based on what they see in this widget here so how can we solve our problem well we need to inject some dynamic information into our meta tags and it's very very easy to do and we're going to use Dreamweaver CS6 to do it so the first thing that we need to do is make sure that we're connected with our database I'm connected with mine this one here is DB underscore tutorials the next thing that we're going to do is make sure that we have our bindings panel open and I have a record set that's already created called RS meta tags and within that record set is showing all of the fields here that I've created within a table in my database and so the only thing I need to do now is drop over drag and drop some of this information that's already stored in my database that's located in this record set and so let's go ahead and do that let's take our page title put it here let's take our description put it there along with the keywords we'll put it there the thing that gets a little tricky is the canonical link what we want to have happen is when the search engine crawls our website we want to make sure that the search engines capture this page or all of these pages as dynamic pages and what I mean by that is the only thing that the search engine is going to see is the static portion of the site and but all of this information it won't see we need to make or it won't at least it won't see on its own we need to help the search engine out this web page is being generated from an index.php web page as you can see it just loaded the page again the only thing that I've done was I've hid the index.php extension but when the search engine crawls the website they're only seeing this information here and they're saying that okay we got all the pages we need let's move on to the next website we don't want that to happen we want that search engine to capture all of this information and we want it to display on the search engine the way we want it to show up on a person's browser so let's go ahead and hide this index.php extension again and let's copy 
the static portion of that URL and let's go ahead and bring over a portion of the dynamic part of the link or the URL and now let's drag and drop the slug that we created and that slug is just this portion of the URL and um, or this portion right here and what happens with this is this is the same as the page title the only thing is is that instead of having it uh, these spaces here because we can't have spaces within the address bar here everything is separated by a hyphen and so let's move on to our open graph meta tags because when this web page gets shared on social media we want to make sure that everything shows up within the widget the way we want it to so let's take our page title and paste it there for Facebook as well as Twitter let's take our page description and do the same thing and our URL is the same as our canonical link and another tricky part here is the actual image that we want to show and here in our database here there's no physical image that's stored in our database or in my database this is these are just words this is the title of the image only this image is called bay1.jpg and if I want this image to show up on this page as well as in these uh, social media buttons I want it to make I want to make sure that I give the browser the correct path leading up to the dynamic image and so let's go ahead and do that so let's go ahead and hand code this part and I know that that image is stored in my images folder and another folder called projects that's within the images folder and now let's drag and drop this page image right there and let's copy and put that there for Twitter as well alright so now let's save it and upload it to the server let's go back and let's click on the link again Okay, and as you can see when I hover over the tab now the page title shows up just as it is here and if I click on a share button here when it loads up I now have a beautiful picture of Beyonce here along with a page title and the dynamic description that I put inside the database for this web page and let's just make sure that this is just not a one-off let's make sure that it's happening for the other pages as well let's click on Leo and if you, as you can see the page title is showing up there let's click on another share button and everything showing up just the way I want it to and so as you can see it's not difficult at all to create dynamic meta tags the only thing that we needed to do was just drag and drop some information using Dreamweaver CS6 now of course you can probably use this on the earlier versions of Dreamweaver as well not too sure about Dreamweaver CC but in any case it's not that difficult at all so if you enjoyed this tutorial please make sure you hit the like button below if you want to test out the uh, web page here make sure that you click on the link in the description box it will bring you over to my new website and you can test out the page for yourself also we're going to do some pretty cool things with this dynamic um, website here or blog site here so if you're down for the ride please subscribe